What's up YouTube, Mike here, and today I wanted to do a demo slash tutorial of Adobe Spark Post for iOS. Now this is an app that's been out for a little while on the desktop. Um, this is one that is free. Um, if you've got an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, obviously you've probably used it on your desktop, but this is a free app from the App Store, which is a good thing. And uh, really no limitations. There is a watermark and all you have to do to get rid of that watermark is just uh, share the app so if you click on share app it'll open up your email and you just put in somebody's email and bam the watermark disappears but this is what the app looks like when you first bring it up so it comes with it'll show you all the different featured uh, templates that you can use and all these are free to use so this app is really an awesome app if you are a small business owner or, and you want to make some kind of advertising or if you just want to make posters or you want to make thumbnails which is what I'm going to use it for so I'm actually going to use this app to make the thumbnail for this video so uh, we'll get started and I'm just going to give you the tour so we're going to start from the left so as you see you've got remix on the bottom left you've got the big plus button and that's how you start a new project and if you go over to my post those are all the ones that you formerly made so going up to the top, we've got our settings, and then we've got categories. So we've got six categories, and all these are is just pre-made templates that you can use. You're able to edit all of them, and it just gives you ideas. So we'll click on it real quick. Now this does require an internet connection if you want to use these templates, but if you just want to use the photos in your library, then you don't need internet. But uh, right now I've got an internet connection. It's fairly slow because I'm still in Afghanistan but it brings up some templates and of course you can go online and search for more and like I said every single one of these you can click on and you can edit it which is pretty cool so you can make it your own and you're free to use all of these for uh, whatever need you want so that was seasonal here's some of the craft templates you just like the category sounds they are crafts and you've got business and uh, it's got different templates for a business and you go over to travel same thing it's very travel oriented hence the category you've got food so this one would be great I can imagine if you own a restaurant and you want to do some advertising for your restaurant or if you want to make a menu for your restaurant it just gives you some nice templates that you can use and you've got a lifestyle which is of course various different lifestyle categories and again every single one of these you can use you can edit and you can essentially make it your own which is pretty cool so those are all the categories and like I said, below categories, you've got uh, notify me more uh, about new designs. So if you click on this, you add your information, and when new ones pop up, you'll get an email. But here are the featured ones, of course. And for now, I'm going to use my own picture. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the Add button. And when you click that, if you've got a Creative Cloud subscription, this is where you can tap into it. Or if you've got Adobe Lightroom, you can actually search for photos take one and of course use your photo library so we're going to use our photo library and I'm going to grab the one that I made earlier and when you select the picture it's going to ask you for the size you want it's got it based on you know social post social profile profile or standard and I've already got it set to 16 by 9 for YouTube so I'm just going to hit original and when you do that you just go all the way to the bottom right and you hit the green next button so it's automatically going to bring up text to edit so you just like it says you double tap to edit and I'm going to call this one if I can spell Adobe Spark App for iOS and I just hit done and of course you can use uh, pinch to zoom you can move this around and you can move it anywhere you want and by default it's going to try and match up a, a text and background based on um, whatever picture you have which is kind of neat but you can still adjust the color if you like you just click on that and it gives you um, various options you just got to click on to see what you get essentially but for now uh, I'm going to go with that and we'll just hit the check mark to save then you go to font and this shows you all the different fonts you have 
And I'm just going to keep this simple and just keep the font that I have because I've already made a thumbnail that I want. But these are all the various fonts that you can use. And again, it gives you a little demo of the font. So I'm going to hit the X button because I don't want to use one of those. Then you can go to Shape. And this is kind of a cool feature. So as it's, you click on these ones, it's going to give you kind of a um, background. So it uh, accentuates the, um, the letters, essentially. And you've got circles diamonds, I mean you name it, you've got it. So this app really allows you to make a very professional looking uh, whatever it may be, poster, advertisement. It's a pretty cool and, and it's pretty simple to use which I like. So I kinda like this one, it's kinda big, but I like how I can kinda play with the shape and match it up to the side. So we'll just go with that for now and uh, continue to tweak it. So I'm gonna hit save and also um, here's your alignment you can pick how you want the letters to be aligned again you just tap on it more than once and it gives you more options so this one's a little better it'll probably fit a little better and I'll continue to tweak it uh, um, yeah I kinda look at, like it to be at an angle like I said I'm just kinda playing with the app so that's the best thing about a free app is it gives you the opportunity to try it out and then opacity so with this you can slide it left to right and it's going to change the background opacity so you can kind of see through it which I like so I'm going to leave that there hit the green check mark then you've got spacing and this is going to change the spacing of the letters just like it implies so the cool thing is I'm going to bring you down all the way to the bottom left now you've got the trash can which obviously is when you want to delete something. You can add more text and then coming over to this circle with the black dot. This is one of my favorite features of this app. You click on this and this is called the suggestion wheel. And just like the name implies, this is a suggestion. So as you rotate this around, notice how it changes it. And so maybe you're having a writer's block or not feeling very creative and you need some inspiration so you just keep moving this wheel around and maybe you'll see something that uh, jumps out at you so very cool feature and you, again you keep rotating and it keeps giving you suggestions which is pretty neat so I kinda like that one because it looks nice and clean but for now I'm just gonna stick with what I got so I'm just gonna hit the X button and it's gonna bring me back to this guy so and then of course you hit the little check mark on the bottom right when you're done. So what I'm going to do is go up to the top now and show you what this is. So this is if you want to resize it, which I don't want to do, so I'll hit X. If you want to switch pictures, this gives you that option, which I don't want to do. And then you've got if you want to add more text, which I want to do. So I'm going to just type in tutorial, hit done and drop that in. And as you notice it automatically uses the theme that I already have. So, and as I have this highlighted as well, I can uh, adjust different things like the opacity. So if I want to turn that down so you can see spark post lettering better, or if I want to turn it up. Or if I just want to move this guy, I can do that. So the options again are there and they all work pretty darn well. So I'm just trying to manipulate this guy. And it's not going to be perfect just because I'm kind of trying to show you quickly but when you're done you just hit your little check. And then as I'm moving on here you've got theme and this is where you can use some of those themes that we saw and as you click on them it's going to change it to those themes. So I'll continue to click to kind of show you what they look like. So again if you're having a difficult time trying to figure out what you want this to look like you can use these themes and as you click on them it's gonna obviously change it to that theme. So pretty darn cool. So I'm not going to use any of these I'm just showing you that they're there so I'm going to hit X. 
then you, you move over to photo, this is more of a uh, filter. So as you click on these, it's just showing you different filters for your picture. So I'm not going to use one, so I'm going to hit the X. And then this is one of the cooler features of this app. You see where it says animation on the bottom right. When I click on that, just like the name implies, if you click and hold on one of these, it'll show you and it does an animation. So the cool thing is if you want to use this for like a uh, intro to a video, you can create one and it'll do these little animations. And here's a cool one. Blur, so it'll come up at you. And you just have to click on it and see what they do. Here's another one. But to me that's pretty darn cool. And when you export this, you can export it as a video if you so desire. So those are the animations and when you find what you want you just hit the green check mark on the bottom right uh, we're going to stick with just making this a thumbnail so I'm going to hit X and that's pretty much all the options so once you're done you just go to the very top right you've got your share button so you can again save this as a video a live photo or just an image no animation which is what we're going to do and then you can save it to your camera roll or whatever options you have based on the apps you have on your iPad or iPhone. So we're just going to hit save image and it's saved to your camera roll and it's as simple as that. Like I said, this is a very easy app, very intuitive, easy to use and it's a fairly full featured robust app but you can see what you can do with this. So it's great if you are a small business and you want to do advertising or if you just want to make some cool posters or YouTube thumbnails. So hopefully this video helped you out. If you enjoyed it and it did help you, give me a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Thanks.